Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Vlogs and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at Idlecam's Vlogstar. Want to be a Vlogstar? Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a shotgun and lavalier mic from the people over at Idlecam. This is the Vlogstar, this is version V2 with some uh, subtle improvements, although the first one was pretty decent, to be honest with you. Now, you're probably asking, what the heck is it? So, to put it simply, it is a very compact shotgun mic, which can also be used for other purposes, such as a lab mic, such as on-body mics, that sort of thing. This solves some of the problems which are commonly found with, actually, when you're vlogging. Now, first of all, I'll say, I am not an expert vlogger by any means, shape, or form. But I have gone outside and I've done some video recordings, you've probably seen them before. It isn't always easy to do, and there's often compromises you have to make, either in terms of spending lots of money, um, not being able to see your screen, or just having extra bulky items attached to your camera. So the people over at Idlecam have actually solved most of that in this new product. So we're going to go through today, we'll do a quick unboxing, show you exactly what you get. We'll do some practical sound tests so you can actually see and hear what it sounds like, get an idea if it's going to be suitable for you. And also, at the end of the video, there is going to be a discount code offered. So if you do want to pick up one of these, you can get up to a 20% discount. It is going to be time sensitive, so you might want to uh, fast forward there if you're really interested in this. Uh, all links will be in the video description also. And I should also say that this has actually been sent to us free of charge for review purposes by Idlecam. Uh, they haven't asked us to say anything or to do anything, but just to check out and see what you think. But ultimately it's going to be coming down to what you guys think. So watch the video and let us know how it goes. Okay, so first of all, with the packaging, as you can see, obviously Vlogstar, the microphone design itself is something very unusual. It's something that I've not seen on the market at all before. And I'll be honest with you, as I often am, critical where criticism is warranted. To me personally, it looks a little bit gimmicky, which is possibly off-putting to some people. But once you get past the actual design of it and you realize what it's all about, it kind of all does make perfect sense. Now this is predominantly made from kind of aircraft grade materials. It's very strong and it's also got all the features that you'd normally get in a microphone such as this, the Rode Video Micro, but in a much, much smaller form factor, which obviously we'll go through as we go through the review. So it's obviously compatible with a lot of different devices. We've got things like smartphones, tablets, uh, laptop, computer, your cameras obviously, such as these. Uh, if you've got a 3.5 mil jack plug, essentially it's gonna work. It works with the TRS setup. Also, it works with TRRS with a handy adapter, which is also included free of charge in the packaging. So it's gonna work with pretty much most devices for some iOS devices, you're going to need to get one of those Lightning to 3.5mm adapters. But other than that, pretty much most devices, especially in the kind of camera world, this is going to work with straight out the box. Looking on the back of the box, it goes through some of the specifications, the frequency responses, all that kind of stuff. So I'll leave it on the screen for you so you can check that out for yourselves. Obviously, if you want to look at it in more detail, hit that pause button right now. So let's take a quick look at what we get actually in the packaging. So this is what you'll receive. There isn't a user manual uh, to help save trees and all that kind of stuff. The user manual is on Idlecam's website. Again, if you want a quick access to that, there'll be links to that in the video descriptions. So if you want to see how it all works and all that kind of stuff, please do check that out. But as you can see, there's the microphone itself, very compact, actually very lightweight as well, which is something which is quite important, especially if you've got a slightly heavier camera, you don't want to be adding more weight to it. Also included, there is a TRS to TRRS adapter. All of these are gold plated as well, which uh, in theory gives you better signal quality, all that kind of good stuff. There is also included a little wind muff as well, which actually, if you're looking at the Rode Video Micro and for your vlogging purposes, and you're thinking, well, it's a little bit on the bulky side, let's have a quick comparison. So this is the wind muff of the Rode Video Micro. Yeah. It's uh, pretty much a night and day experience. This is a really chunky monkey. You put this on top of your camera, or on the side of your camera, and it bobbles around, all that kind of stuff. It gets in the way of your viewfinder, or possibly your flippy out screen, or even your flippy up screen, if you're on the Sony ecosystem. This thing is tiny, but it actually does a particularly good job, as you'll see later on in the video. Now you're probably looking at it thinking, Mike, why is there a little yellow bit on there? Now, there's actually a really good reason for that. Because of how the microphone works, it is a shotgun-style microphone, and it does have a cardioid-style pattern. So this is the mic input. It will pick up things surrounding, but generally it's things that are aimed at it. 
So when you've actually got this plugged into the side of your camera, if you had a traditional windmuff on, such as like this, then you'd have no idea which way round the mic was actually facing. So actually it's really clever how they've done it. So by having the, uh, the little bit on there, now this is actually a little bit fiddly to put on, I'll be quite honest, but it's not something you're gonna be doing particularly often, I don't think. So when you've actually got it on, all you wanna do is to get it so that the, the yellow bit is actually facing the same way as the microphone pickup. So that way, when it's actually in your camera, as we'll show you now, so all you do is open up your mic jack on the side of your camera and plug it in. There's no extra electricity required, no batteries, no nothing. It's all self-powered. So now you know exactly which way the microphone is facing. So if you're doing a shot um, away, or maybe you're vlogging, having it face towards you, you can look up and visually see straight away that the little, little yellow bit is actually facing you. Now clearly, obviously, if you're doing something else and maybe you're filming something in front of you, maybe uh, you're doing motor racing or sports photography, that kind of stuff, and you're vlogging on a race, then all you do is turn that round and you know immediately that the microphone is facing you. So if you want to pick up your voice whilst you're doing a voiceover, absolutely great. And then you can quickly flip it round to face towards obviously the action where it's going on. So although it's, uh, it looks a little bit weird, it actually does serve a really good purpose. So anyway, that is the microphone and the muff itself. You get also included an extension cable. So this is a TRS extension cable. So if you do want to use it as a lav mic, plug it into your camera. You've got five foot of cable there. That is a male to female, again, gold plated ends. So you can plug in your microphone and actually have it maybe clipped on or just have it slightly closer to you should you need to. And there's a nice little Velcro strap on there to keep the cables tidy in your bag or wherever you're keeping it. Also going down the kind of the lav route, there is actually a little clip on as well. So you can put the microphone into here and then you can clip that onto clothing or onto your shirt, that kind of thing. Personally, I've got to say in terms of a lav mic, I don't really think it's designed to be used like that as a long-term thing, but certainly to get you out of a fix, it's definitely gonna be handy. And the fact they've got the option to do either, it does save you potentially money. So you don't have to go and buy yourself like a Rode Video Micro, which is kind of 50 pounds or so here in the UK, and then another separate lav mic. You've got both of them combined into one for actually a pretty decent price. At the moment, this is currently retailing on Idlecam's website for $50. So that equates at the moment with the exchange rates, et cetera, to something around 40 pounds. And if you take advantage of the 20% discount we're offering as well, then obviously this is gonna bring that down even further. So actually really competitive pricing for a really flexible microphone, which does a bit of everything. So let's take a look at a, uh, another couple of aspects of why this microphone might be suitable for you. So the first thing is if you're uh, vlogging, maybe you're using this kind of shock mount on the top, which is actually really common. There's lots of designs which have done it and copied the same sort of thing. As you can see, there's a lot of movement. And actually just doing that, I can feel the movement going through into my wrist. You can possibly even see it moving and it kind of moves the whole camera. So the weight of the actual capsule in here actually does transfer into the body of the camera. And if you've got super efficient pickups on your camera or whatever device you're using, so if it's like a GoPro type setup, that sort of thing, that noise is definitely gonna translate. And I've done it before, I've heard it you can actually hear the bounce. So as you're walking, you can hear the bounce of the capsule actually bouncing around. And it is a little bit off-putting for some people. Now obviously, because the Idlecam mic, the Vlogstar, is so lightweight and it's a fixed position, you're not gonna get that noise coming through. And actually what they've done is really clever. Actually inside the microphone itself, there is its own built-in shock absorbing system. Now it's actually, it sounds more elaborate than it actually is now. Uh, Jason's probably not going to be very happy that I've done this, but I've done it anyway. I'm actually taking it apart to see what's inside. So you've got four screws on there, which are star-shaped screws. Actually, I had to find a suitable kit to do that. Once you get it off, you can take that out. There's two metal grills inside. Then there is a foam, and then you've got the actual mic capsule itself, which is actually quite large. And that in itself is encased in foam as well. So you've got two layers of foam. You've also got all the shock mounting in the system itself. So it's actually really good and really strong. So again, I'm just moving this around. You can see this thing wobbling around like crazy. And the idle cam mic is completely still. So that means that noise of you kind of walking as you're bouncing isn't gonna transfer through to the microphone, which is yeah, absolutely brilliant. And also look at the size of it. If you've got this on the top of your camera, if you're using, like I said earlier, if you're using a Sony A-series camera where you've got your flippy up screen, then basically, especially if you've got your wind muff on as well, there is no chance in hell of you actually seeing your screen. Now, obviously for Panasonic users, 
or cameras with flip outs, such as the Sony a7C, etc., then you can just flip your screen around. And it does get in the way a little bit. On this particular camera, it does actually knock, so it does face that up slightly, so it's gonna be slightly off the directional axis, but just move the screen back a little bit, it's absolutely fine. Again, your cameras possibly are gonna be different. This is with the Panasonic G7. I've used it today with my Panasonic S5, and with that, the mic jack is actually a little bit further forward, so it wasn't a problem at all, and I could have the, f the screen fully articulated out, and actually have the wind muff on at the same time, which is this little thing, and it covered a very small portion of that top part of the screen, but you could still see most of it. Obviously, if you're using this with something like this, it's gonna blot out pretty much most of the screen. So that is the trade-off of using that sort of device against this more compact style. So I think I've probably spoken enough about the actual practicalities of it. Realistically, if you're gonna be using this, you wanna know what it actually sounds like. So I've taken my camera outside today and I've done three tests. So the first one is me walking up and down the street with the S5, just using the onboard mic and you can tell definitely it's picking up a lot of wind noise. Sound quality on the Panasonic S5 actually is brilliant. The built-in mics are particularly good. So when you're looking at actually the audio quality, there's gonna be, it's gonna be basically very similar. But what you do notice is the wind noise reduction. Now, actually in camera, I've got the wind noise reduction set to standard. So it hasn't got any of those nasty artifacts. And I haven't changed the actual settings in the camera for the gain. I'll be doing that in post-production and I'll put it on the screen what levels I've actually added to increase it or to normalize it. So let's take a look first of all at the camera with just the standard onboard mic. Okay, so today we're doing a quick test of the idle cam, the Vlogstar mic. Now currently I'm using my Lumix S5 camera, just taking a quick walk up the road and see what the audio quality is like. Now at the moment we're recording this on the Lumix's built-in microphone, which actually isn't too bad at all. You may pick up a few little noises. Uh, I'll be quiet now so you can hear the ambient surrounding noise. So there's some birds and stuff like that going on, singing. Uh, wind today, not very windy at all actually. It's a pretty, pretty quiet day today. Not much noise at all. And we'll turn around so we can get noise from the other direction. See if you're picking up any wind noise and all that kind of stuff. Pretty grey cloudy day out today. A bit more of a breeze walking down this way. So that's probably picking up on the camera. So now let's swap over to the idle cam mic and see what that's like. Okay, so doing the same test again, walking down the road, and now we've got the idle cam mic connected. It's in shotgun mode facing directly at me. And walking down the road, a little bit more breezy actually, it seems at the moment. Currently the wind muff or the windshield is currently off and there's a car going past right on cue. That's very handy, thank you very much. We like that a lot. Uh, be interested to see if it's picking up on any ambient noises, so I'll be quiet now so you can hear what's going on around. So hopefully you can hear that pretty clearly. And now let's walk back in the other direction. Uh, the wind is definitely travelling this way, that way. So, yeah, this should be a little bit better for wind noise, although there might be some turbulence going around the outside of the mic. I've just noticed actually the flap door for the microphone, or the port where the microphone is, uh, it's kind of flapping, so it might actually be tapping on it. I don't think it's quite touching it, but we'll see. The car about to go past. Shame it wasn't a, uh, a real car, it's an electric one, not much noise. But hopefully you're getting an idea of what this sounds like for vlogging purposes. This is camera arm's length, so let's uh, turn around now and see what it's like with the wind muffle. Okay, so we're testing out the uh, idle cam Vlogstar. That's what it's called, Vlogstar. I should know that being I am a Vlogstar. Well, currently I am anyway. Uh, we're testing now with the wind muff on. I've probably recorded this twice now. Uh, previously when I was recording it, I'm not entirely sure that the mic was fully plugged in, which, just pushing on the side now, yeah, it's definitely plugged in. Uh, it wasn't quite clicked in properly before. Now that isn't a problem with the actual idle cam mic itself. Clearly that's just uh, Mike's fault, not the mic's fault, if you see what I mean. So just taking a quick walk down the road here, see what the noise rejection's like and the wind noise and all that kind of stuff. Uh, car going by at the moment. 
Let's see what the noise rejection is like on that. And we'll just take a quick walk up. We're currently walking uh, with the wind, so the wind noise should be minimised at the moment. This camera is getting heavy. <laughs> I need a lighter camera for this kind of stuff. Anyway, so this is walking away, out of the wind. Uh, let's spin right now. Now we're walking back into the direction of the wind. Uh, typically the, uh, the winds die down a little bit now. Still is a little bit windy. Not too bad, there's a few gusts. Uh, maybe you're hearing that. I'm not too sure if I've already said it actually in the, uh, the previous part of the video, if that video actually worked or not. One of the side effects of the wind muff is actually that it holds the flap open as well for the actual mic door, which is actually quite useful. I'm just going to check make sure that's not actually what's pushing the microphone out. No, it seems to be okay. So the microphone is in. Uh, another side effect is because it is quite fluffy, it does actually cover up some of the flippy out screen. So for vlogging purposes, depending on your camera, uh, if you're using one of the A-series from Sony, you should be absolutely fine because you've got a flippy up screen. But if you're using a Lumix camera with a flippy out screen like I am, you might find some of the details in the top left hand corner of your screen uh, you're not going to be quite able to see. So anyway, still got the fluffy on, talking useless rubbish into the camera and some walking back up. There's a car about to go past, quite a big car. Quite biggish. Anyway, that's enough. Let's go and uh, see what this actually sounds like and we'll report back shortly. So there you go, there are the results. I'll let you be the judge. What do you think of it? Actually, I think considering how little space this takes up and how much of a noise reduction and wind reduction it makes, I think realistically you're probably going to want to put this on all the time and just leave it permanently on. There's no real reason to take it off. It doesn't seem to detract from the audio quality and it doesn't really a, a change the levels very much at all but it does actually a really good job of rejecting pretty much, I would say almost all of the wind noise. There was a very, very slight thing where you could hear it a little bit, but certainly the difference between this actually being on and just using the onboard mic built into the camera, the difference is night and day in terms of actually sound isolation and noise reduction. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Obviously, if you do wanna pick one of these up or you wanna find out more, links for it will be in the video description. Thanks again to Idlecam and thanks to Jason himself for sending it over to us. Idlecam is one of those kind of cool little companies which they get a great idea and they just run with it. It's not all about profit and all that commercial stuff. It's about basically trying to get products for people who have that creative urge. So if you have got that creative urge, head on over to Idlecam and check out what they've got. They also do other things, cameras, camera accessories, all that kind of stuff, but lots of stuff for you to check out. Anyway. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, then hit the subscribe button and the chime icon to be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.